Hi guys, so here I'm Rory here, co-founder of Sublime Trading, here with your daily update on the UK and US indices for Thursday the 2nd of April. If you're new to these daily updates then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page which will give you a much more detailed understanding of the uh, screen setup that I have here and what I actually cover in these daily updates. Now this is going up a little bit later than normal so apologies for that if you've been waiting for this. I've been putting the final touches to a live webinar that I'm doing tonight at 8pm UK time so that's Thursday 2nd of April 8pm UK time. If you'd like to attend that webinar then um, if you're already in our free Facebook group then you simply need to register using the link that's pinned to the top of our Facebook group or if you're new to these recordings there's a link to our free, uh, free Facebook group in the description so just request access and we'll add you and you can then register for the webinar this evening okay so let's start with the FTSE 100 so as always guys this is our three screen setup monthly in the top left weekly in the top right and our daily chart here at the bottom if we start with the dollar index we know overall this is a very much a bearish looking chart Strong month for the bears in March, but the bulls came in strong towards the end of the month, took price above this support level, which is the low of February 16. But we can see so far in April, weakness to the downside, and currently price is trading below this support level. So if we get, a, if we get further weakness below this towards that 5,000 round number, then we could potentially see a bear market materialize where we actually start looking for shorting opportunities. If we move across to the weekly time frame, we can see that price is below the 200 moving average and the 50 simple moving average. Good weakness to the downside. We can also see the 50 is now looking to cross below the 200 moving average. Those who are familiar with this terminology, this is known as a death cross when one moving average move, uh, moves below the other. So we've got a potential death cross here. What we're looking for now really is this support level to be cleared and that will then suggest further weakness. On the daily time frame, price is below the 200 the 50 and the 20 simple moving averages but yesterday i mentioned how the 20 simple moving average is acting as resistance we can see yesterday's price action bearish nest to the downside price closed below this area of um, support which is now resistance so potentially we could see further weakness to the downside again this area here this um black line going across the screen is actually if you go to the monthly time frame is actually this low highlighted on the daily time frame which is the low of 2016 so if we start seeing further weakness and this support level cleared then potentially we could be in uh, bearish markets where we actually start looking to short uh, short some uh, good looking stocks okay let's catch up with the US indices starting with the Dow Jones we can see on the monthly time frame price is trading below the low of last year and now price is also trading below the low of 2018 so price actually closed above this in March but in April now we can see a gap below and we could potentially now start seeing further weakness towards this next area of support we've also got that 2000 round number to clear so if these levels are cleared then we could potentially start seeing weakness on the weekly price is below the 200 moving average and the 50 simple moving average we had a bullish week last week but so, so far this week it is looking bearish but ultimately we still want to see support cleared and the same on the daily time frame price is below the 200 the 50 and the 20 simple moving averages the 20 simple moving average is holding strong as resistance we had a gap down and we could potentially now see further weakness to the downside we of course want to see price dictate that and that's always that always happens uh, we always get confirmation by the end of the trading day so we want to see how today pans out looking bullish so far at the open slight uh, bullishness but if we start seeing weakness at the downside and this support level cleared then we can start looking to potentially short the market so that's the Dow Jones expect similar structure on the S&P 500 the only difference on the S&P 500 is that on the monthly time frame price is still trading above the low of last year so this is still acting as support so if price starts breaking through these levels then we could start uh, we could start uh, this would be extra confirmation of uh, weakness and a bear market materializing on the daily time excuse me on the weekly time frame price is below the 200 moving average if you look at uh, price action so far this week last week's price action came to the 200 moving average which acted as resistance and we can see price now bouncing off 
the 200 moving average the bears are in control of the market so far this week but ultimately it's this support level that we want to see cleared and we can see that on the daily as well prices below the 200 the 50 and the 20 simple moving average again we can see how the 20s acted as resistance gap down yesterday bullish start today but ultimately it's this support level down here that we want to see cleared which will really suggest a bear market if we start seeing further strength then price will is likely to move back towards 3000 and the 200 moving average and now if you move across to the nasdaq starting with the monthly the nasdaq is inside the annual levels of last year so the nasdaq is lagging behind in terms of what's happening on the dow jones and the s p 500 the, the nasdaq is lagging behind we know the s p 500 is just above the low of last year the dow jones is actually below the low of last year the nasdaq you can see is very much halfway between the high and the low of last year january um excuse me february and march very much bearish so interesting to see whether we do get further weakness or whether we start seeing further strength on the weekly also prices above the 200 moving average unlike the dow jones and the s p prices actually above the 200 moving average you can see it's finding resistance at the 50 simple moving average so if this 200 moving average is cleared then we're likely to see further weakness and if you come down to the daily we can see the 200 moving average again acting as resistance the support level of june 2019 has been holding strong we had a pullback to the 20 simple moving average this is holding strong as resistance what we now want to see is whether we get a break below this area support and then further weakness particularly through the 200 moving average or if we start seeing strength and if price breaks above the 200 moving average then we could potentially see strength back to the upside if the 200 moving average is cleared then we could expect the dow jones and the s p 500 to follow that's me for today guys as a reminder if you do want to attend the webinar this evening then do request access to our facebook community the link is in the description below see you on tomorrow's recording